Here we are! My little 1960 Austin Healy Bug-Eyed Sprite. Yes, it's quite small. I gotta get my hair fixed. I've always wanted to do that. Get out of the convertible and hair flying. Then I gotta fix it. Why would Caitlyn Jenner have a 1960 Austin Healy Bug-Eyed Sprite? All right, this little baby right here. Well, there's a reason. When I was growing up, when I was 15 years old, in fact, I got a picture of it, of me sitting on the side of a 1960 Austin Healey Bug-Eyed Sprite when I was 15. My dad took me down to the parking lot uh, at the grocery store, um, and for the first time, I drove a car and I drove a stick shift. And you know how that goes, bump, 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 you know, it was kind of tough, but I got better at it. And like a good 15 year old, I did sneak it out of the garage a couple times, never got caught, I was pretty good. So excited on my 15th, on my 16th birthday that I can get my driver's license. So I ran down that morning, got my driver's license. I'm coming back thinking, boy, I can finally drive the bug eye on the street. You know, I can finally take it out. I got home and the bug eye wasn't in the car, in the garage. And so I go to my dad, dad, where's the bug eye? He goes, I sold it this morning. I was absolutely <laughs> devastated. I just couldn't believe how my dad would like hurt me like that. So I never got to drive the car legally on the street. So I always had this thing for a bug-eyed Sprite. So uh, years would go by. You know, I did like 23 years of carpool and I got all my kids. I got Kendall and Kylie in the back and I'd be going down the street and you don't see many bug eyes out there. They're very rare. But every once in a while you would see a bug eyed Sprite. And I'd get all excited. I'd say, girls, 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 wait, come in the other direction. That is a bug eyed Sprite right there. That's the car I learned to drive in. And they would look at me like I was nuts. Okay, yeah, right, Dad. And uh, so finally, about five years ago, I decided, you know what? It's time. I need to get a bug-eyed Sprite. So I called the bug-eye guy in Connecticut, looked online, the bug-eye guy. All he does is restore bug-eyed Sprite. I figured this is a good guy to go to. I bought this car, sight unseen, just pictures, um, because why it had the right paint scheme on it. And there was a new paint, uh, paint job on it. It had my dad's was white and had just one red stripe, but it had, you know, I got two red stripes on this one. So we took the car and he pretty much did all the cosmetic stuff to it with a new interior, new dash, original dash with all the original gears in it. Um, uh, obviously new upholstery, uh, the seats were new. It does have a, uh, a top for it but it's in the back, brand new, but I've never used it and probably never will. This is, if it's raining, I'm not in this car. And um, did all the cosmetic work to it, a little bit of work on the engine, but not much. And then when it came out, uh, and I finally got it, actually, I got a great picture of, uh, I had it delivered to Jay Leno's garage, Jay's is a friend, and I knew somebody would be there to, you know. So I had it delivered there and I got this great picture of Jay Leno cleaning the windshield on my bug-eyed spray. I mean, how good is that? That was its first day. I knew it was in the right hands. Got the car, started driving in the car, started going home that day. It had the original engine and the original transmission, which was a four-speed transmission. I'm doing 55 down the freeway. 3,300 RPMs, Whee! to do 55 miles an hour on the freeway. Cars are going by me, Whee! Whee! going by me. And I went, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work for, you know, 2016 LA traffic. Uh, so of course, when you have a bug eye, um, you start meeting other people with bug eyes. And this one guy says, well, this is where I have all my engine work done and they can put a five-speed in it. So I thought, okay. I went over to here in the valley and uh, went to this guy and he does race bug eyes. And so he knew exactly what to do. So anyway, we redid uh, the suspension on the car. We put sway bars in it. We put all this extra stuff in it, but the engine is did an amazing job. 
It started off with a big four cylinder 65 horsepower, you know? And, but with the five speed transmission, I figured it could handle a little more horsepower. So I took it to him and we took the engine, which is I think 1735 cc's. We took the engine, took it out to put the transmission in it. Uh, you can see the plate here. Um, so now we have a five speed on it. Uh, then the engine, when we took it out, we looked at it and said, you know what? The engine looking pretty old. Um, it needs some work. So uh, we had it all the, the, all bored out, uh, all new valves in it, uh, new uh, uh, pistons. We put a more aggressive uh, crank in it. Um, then we put this blower on, which uh, a compressor, which adds even more horsepower to it. Uh, obviously because of all of this uh, a new radiator system uh, in it to be more aggressive but it went from 65 horsepower to I don't know probably somewhere around 120 horse and uh, with the five-speed transmission this little bug eye is a goer um, it's so much fun uh, to drive I live on Canyon Road so it's so much fun to drive on the Canyon Roads um, and this car gets so much attention. I wasn't looking for attention. I was just looking for my car, you know. And uh, uh, everybody's comment when they see this car, uh, it's not like, oh my God, you know how they'll say, they'll look at a, you know, like Kylie's got a, a Bugatti Saron and they look at it, so, oh my God, what a beautiful car. This car, every time they look at it, what do they say? That is the cutest car I've ever seen. This car has a major cute factor. So after I got all this done and everything, I decided um, I really wanted to dedicate this car to my dad. I'm gonna get emotional here. Um, so on the back, I had dad Sprite. So really this car is mine, it's in honor of my father, who was a great human being, World War II veteran, somehow landed in Omaha Beach, made it all the way through the war, 5th Ranger Battalion, uh, came home and was a really good dad. We lost him in 2000. Um, I wish my dad could see this car today. Um, but it leans a lot to me and when I'm done with it and I'm gone. Uh, it'll always stay in the family. One of my kids will have it, but little car means a lot.